Hello, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have a new project today. We are going to take it in two parts. So this is gonna be part one. Next time will be part two. All right, so the things you're gonna need for today is going to be scrap extra pieces of paper. These do not have to be pretty pieces of paper. These ones have already cut pieces off of. You're gonna need a black or a dark colored piece of construction paper. You're gonna need scissors and glue. And the next time we're gonna put it onto a big piece of paper. This is a big um, 18 by 12. So this one is 18 inches long by 12 inches. So what we are gonna be doing today is we are gonna be creating a vase. And next time we are gonna be putting flowers into that vase. Here is what I found online and I thought it looked pretty cute. So we're just gonna concentrate on the vase today. Next time we're gonna do the flowers up there. Okay, so we're gonna need a piece of paper and I'm gonna fold my piece of paper in half. It's okay if it's not perfectly in half, doesn't matter. Open it up, cut it down the center. And now this is going to become our vase. So our paper is actually gonna go nice and long and it's going to go here like this. But we don't need this paper today. I just wanted to show you guys where it would be going. All right, so. If you want to make this more into a vase-like shape, you can. If you want to keep it rectangle, you can. It's completely up to you. So I've got random colors of paper here. I actually have rainbow order. I love me some rainbow. You are just gonna cut squares or rectangles. They do not have to be the same size. They can be different sizes. They can be triangles. It's completely up to you. So there is my strip of papers. <clears throat> and now I want to take these strips of paper and I want to cut them into different size rectangles. So rectangles or squares or whatever they turn out to be, have fun cutting up your paper. Make sure that they're not all the same size. Make sure some of them are smaller and some of them are bigger. It makes it more fun. There we go. Now I got me a little pile of squares. I can mix them up any way I want to. I can organize them by color. If I wanted to, I could do a rainbow where I do red all the way across the top. Then I would keep going with red like this. And then next I would do orange and then I would do yellow. And you guys know how a rainbow works and you would fill the whole thing in. Or you could uh, mix up the colors randomly, and that is what I want to do. So I'm just gonna take random squares and I'm just gonna glue them onto here. You can have some of them overlapping, you can have the black paper showing, completely up to you. I think I'm gonna switch from stick glue to liquid glue. That way I can make a little line on my paper. Shaky, shaky. A little zigzaggy line. I learned about lines last time, and now I can just stick my papers randomly wherever I want to. Maybe separate them a little bit more. Now I got my glue. Now I just do it again. And this is all we're going to be doing for today. One thing I will say is make sure that you don't put two of the same color exactly next to each other. So see how there's red above? Don't put another red one there. Try to change up whatever colors you were sticking down. Turn it the other way. There we go. So I'm gonna do my little editing magic and fast forward. All right, I am all done filling up my little vase. My extra pieces of paper, you can save them, you can cut them even smaller and try to help them fit in. Like I feel like there's a really big space right here. So I'm gonna cut a super small rectangle. There's a little bit of glue still there and voila. Now I can do that again over here. You don't have to do the step. If you want to, you can. 
completely up to you. Alrighty, and this is all we're gonna do today. Remember to save this. This is our vase. We're gonna be putting it on a big piece of paper next time. Next time I'm gonna show you guys how to draw different kinds of flowers and then we will color it. All right guys, happy creating.